American blockchains are getting all the attention this year. Obviously, that's why I have my Captain America tee on. And you can see my red lights and my blue lights with a little bit of white in the background, red, white, and blue. On today's video, we're gonna dive into a blockchain you might not heard much about. Obviously, you know about the XRPs, the Stellar Lumens, the Algorands, the Cardanos, but do you know about Constellation Network? Let's get started. This is the X page for Constellation Networks, AKA DAG. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit that bell notification. America's blockchain, Constellation DAG. America's blockchain, hashtag DAG. Here we go. We're on their website. It says America's trusted blockchain. They're obviously pushing to let you know that it is American made. You can build application specific networks for, and it goes through a list, tokens, AI, data, DPIN, Internet of Things, etc. Pick your path. You can go through the developer portal, the enterprise portal, or the federal portal. And I think that is very interesting that they are targeting fed enterprise and developers. So that's the, the small startup guys, the big institutions and the government. And then they have a whole bunch of ecosystem partners, Snowflake, huge, Foursquare, U.S. Air Force, Amazon Web Services, Helium, Uphold, Panasonic, IBM, and it just keeps going. So very interesting. And then you have features like security in uh, infinitely scalable fee-less there is no required fees for transaction cr transacting on the hypergraph and accessing bandwidth very interesting uh, truly an operable decentralized blazing fast but that no fee thing got me really interested so products stargazer wallet lattice dag explorer door traffic miner then the on ramp with c14 using apple pay that's pretty cool. Apple Pay is definitely benefiting from crypto, just like Visa. And then go from layer zero to 60. And so far, it has transactions set per seven seconds. 80,000 with 1.3 billion DAX stake, 25,000 wallets, and 300 plus validator nodes. So it doesn't seem like uh, DAG is widely adopted right now. However, it's happening, obviously, 25,000 wallets and over... 1 billion DAG staked. Very, very interesting. Then we got an amazing moment for this crypto industry. Constellation having in to the White House. It was a complimentary conversations with other L1s. We are in alignment. The government is listening and we need to let innovation blossom. Jobs to come to the U.S. and token holders to feel supported, safe and trusted. The conversation was deep for about two hours more to come. So this was at the Digital Chamber of Commerce. And you had at the lunch and they had a whole bunch of different people like Stellar, uh, Ripple, Cardano, Aptos, AVAX, and obviously Constellation. And they're here over there taking pictures, talking about the federal movement to get blockchain involved. And obviously, Elon Musk's Doge has already mentioned is looking for a blockchain. So you got a whole bunch of competitors here trying to get in on the action. And then White House Council engages engages with blockchain industry leaders. Obviously, um, they're all listed there. But it's just really interesting hearing DAG. DAG has been definitely slowly but surely getting on my radar. I haven't seen it on Coinbase yet, but it is definitely being pushed to get there. And then the guy from DAG is right here getting the arrow pointed to him in the picture. And then you have a new regulatory priorities and policy shifts. A major priority of the council is the development of a federal regulatory framework for stable coins and digital assets. So pretty dope. One of the most striking policy shifts is the explicit ban on central bank digital currencies. Unlike the previous administration, which explored the possibility of a U.S. CBDC, the new directive prohibits them outright. I think I like that too. You don't want to be tracked that, you know, that deep basically. So you don't want to, you don't want to be in that situation. And then you have on February 14th. So this is just about four days ago from the time of this video, top blockchain leaders from Ripple, Constellation, Aptos, Near, Filecoin, Avalanche. That's a lot of companies 
and several others met with the council to discuss pressing regulatory issues. The meeting reinforced the need for swift action on crypto legislation and identified key areas requiring reform. So Constellation, Ben Jorgensen of Constellation, highlighted the double standard pointing that the airlines have issued over $40 billion in rewards without requiring new laws, yet tokenized assets face strict regulations. He's making sure he's heard. Constellation is on the scene, and I want to put this on your radar because it is now on my radar. This ain't no go buy Constellation or nothing. This is go research Constellation and then hit me in the comments if you have any questions or more dialogues or more videos that need to be made. Again, my name is C. Will with the Passive Income Network. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video. Passive income, passive income. Gold in my dental. Thank God for my mental. Investor fundamentals told my girl it was simple.